process of adding custom environments into water has been highly requested. However, some of the steps are different depending on what environments you have. This tutorial will go over some of the basics for adding in custom environments, but you may need to use the chapters to skip to the sections you need, so hope this helps! Step 0. Install the Warado SDK, Unity Hub, and the proper version of Unity. Step 1. Creating a Warado mod. Create the mod by going to Warado and selecting New Mod. Rename your file to whatever you want and then hit Create Mod. Step 2a. This is for people using pre-made scenes. If you have, for example, an FBX model, you're going to want to skip this and go to Step 2b. These scenes are usually a Unity package or a Unity asset bundle. Here I'll use this environment downloaded from the Unity Asset Store as an example. Download and import a pre-made environment into your Unity project. These file types can drag and drop into the asset area of Unity for importing. Find your imported folder and locate the .unity scene file. Click and drag the .unity file to the Warado mod folder you made in step 1. Now open the Warado mod folder and rename the .unity file to environment. It must be this exact spelling and is case sensitive. Your scene is now set up. You can now jump to step 3. Step 2b. Creating your own environments. Right-click in the new mod folder you created from step 1. Choose Create and then Scene. Rename this scene to Environment. It must be this exact name and is case sensitive. Now double-click the scene and save if prompted. This will open the scene in the hierarchy. Import any assets you want to add to your environment. For FBX files, you will need to do some setup work. This custom prop video will show the importing process in more detail for setting up things like textures and materials, so refer to it if you need. Click and drag any assets into the hierarchy to add them to your scene. Your model will now show in the scene. Step 2b, adding colliders. Colliders create the shape of your object. This allows for physics and interactions to happen with your model or props in Warado. Select the game object and choose Add Component. We'll make a floor by adding a box collider. Edit the size of the collider to match your floor. Add any other colliders you may need for interactions with your model or props. Step 2b, adding a skybox. You can create your own skybox, but for this tutorial, I'm going to use my own skybox material that I found and imported online. Find your skybox materials in the assets. Click and drag it into your scene. Step 3. Adding the environment script. Search for the environment settings script in the project search bar. Select any game object in the hierarchy, then drag and drop the environment settings script to the inspector tab. Expand the Environment Settings script drop-down. Click on Copy from Current Environment Settings and then hit Apply. Also, don't forget to save your scene. Step 4. Exporting to Warado. Export the environment by going to Warado and then Build Mod. This builds the scene you created into a .wardo file. The wardo SDK folder should pop up when you're done. Step 5. Adding to wardo. Open wardo and select the plus and then choose Environment. Click on Open Environments folder. Drag and drop your .wardo file from the wardo SDK folder to the Environment folder. Click on the source dropdown and you should see your new environment added to the list. 
Depending on your environment, you may need to adjust some of the environment settings or the directional light settings to make things look the way you want. And congrats! You've now added your own custom environments to Wardo. If you liked this tutorial, be sure to give a like and subscribe. And of course, feel free to leave a comment on what tutorials you'd like to see next.